Finally, I want to actually combine elements numbers 9 and 10 here just because they're uh, both a little bit short here. Um, and that would be GDP per capita. And um, a discussion of how accurate the number is. Let's start first with what GDP per capita represents. GDP per capita, on its most basic level, is the total GDP divided by the population. And basically, your goal is how much production does the average individual produce? Now, the problem with averages is that averages are, um, <laughs> most people do not earn the average, um, that there's a fairly large number of individuals that um, earn below it, as, or um, produce below it, as well as above it. <coughs> and um, what that means, why people calculate it is because if this is how much average production they use, then we could say this is what their average consumption is, or that's what their average um, uh, that's what their average um, income levels would be. So if we look at GDP per capita for um, the United States, um, that what we see here is that GDP per capita right now in the United States is, um, I'm just trying to get a good sense here of where um, we're at in the U.S. I'm actually looking it up online um, as we speak. Um, <clears throat> uh, the calculation itself is rather simple. Um, uh, essentially, what <coughs> What we'd be doing here is dividing approximately 19 trillion by about um, 326 million. And if you do that, you should get a, eh, an approximate, I guess I can do the math here, um, that you would get a approximate, let's see, one nine zero 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 divided by three two six zero 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 zero. Yeah, it gives me about fifty eight two eighty two uh per capita. But essentially what we're saying here is that the average person doesn't earn this. And we know that to be true, that the average person does not get $58,282, that it's something much less than that. So GDP per capita is not useful. as a um, level of uh, prosperity, I guess you would say. Um, because it is just an average. Now, final question here is how accurate is the GDP. It both overestimates and underestimates the 
How does it overestimate? Well, here the problem is that bad things add to GDP, right? So pollution adds to GDP. Car accidents, GDP is higher. Um, violence, crime, all make the GDP higher. Then, in terms of underestimating, what we see here is that home labor, not counted. So when I watch my child, that's not counted in part as part of GDP. Also, what we see here is that in terms of underestimating that illegal activities which are legit, I mean, there are, someone is actually doing work. Illegal activities are not going to be counted as part of this. Um, anything going on in the black market, which would mean I'm selling something legal, but um, right in, even in the U.S. economy, this approximates 10%. So we see ways in which both GDP is both overestimating and underestimating actual production in the economy.